So today I want to talk to you about the new Wizards Creator program. Yesterday they launched their program and as you can see here, it requires a viewership of 50 plus on a live stream service or video views of 1000 plus on a YouTube ho video hosting service. So is this possible to do as a small streamer? I thought like my perspective would be a good one on this since I'm I'm a small streamer and I've started streaming when the MDA lifted and that's exactly two weeks ago. So let's take a look at my stats. First, let's look at Twitch. I have set it to 30 days, the last 30 days. And since I've only started streaming two weeks ago, this is my stats for those two weeks. A little bit of background information about me. I work a full-time job, eight hours every day, uh, but I stream every day and I put out YouTube videos which is highlights from my Twitch stream every day. And I, in total, in these two weeks, I've streamed for 142 hours. I will say I average from about four hours every day. There's only one day I've missed, and that was when Arena was down for the day. So couldn't stream then. Didn't fit in my schedule. Okay, so do I meet the requirements of a concurrent viewership of 50 plus? Uh, no, I don't. If you take a look on my achievements, a, viewers, a concurrent viewership of 50 plus is really hard, especially when I'm like the perfect example of someone who only streams MTG Arena, and I think it's quite impossible to reach that goal if you're only streaming Arena. I think it's only possible for streamers that have streamed for a longer time, and that streamed other games earlier. Uh, so if you're only streaming Arena, I think this is really hard, and I'm one of those guys. I. I don't want to stream MTGO because I don't like the game. I really love Arena, so I only want to stream Arena. And as you can see on my stats here, having a concurrent viewership of 50 plus, you're probably a partner then. Uh, and you can see I'm far away from having an average of 75 viewers in the last 30 days. If you have this achievement, you're probably in the good. Uh, well, you are in the good. Um, this is like t only 24 more than they are asking for. Uh, I think this is hard, <clears throat> fulfilling the Twitch uh, requirements for a new streamer. And ironically, I think the YouTube way is the way to go. That's a lot easier to fulfill. You see, I average from about, yeah, I think 7 to like 16 viewers each stream every day. And I'm really proud of that, and that's really awesome. I really appreciate all you guys watching me. But it, but it isn't enough for the sponsorship program. So let's take a look at the Magic the Gathering page on Twitch. And as you can see here, there's only like one, view, one dude that's on the top right now, playing MTG Arena with 755 viewers. The guy on second place is playing MTGO, and he's got 50 viewers, so he might be eligible. This guy too, maybe which also MTGO. You can see the next guy that streams Arena has like 22 viewers. And all the others, they are on the same level that I am. They got some viewers, but they're far from the requirements. So there's only a few streamers, and most of them are uh, long-time streamers, like really long-time streamers. They're not new, like uh, most of us that wants to stream Arena and don't want to stream MTGO and have never streamed another game. Uh, so yeah, that's my point. Like, it's only for a few guys playing Magic Arena and Magic today. I think they are more targeting gamers that play mm. other games. Mm. I think they should do something about that. Uh, it should be more targeted for streamers that want to play m Arena on a daily basis, but also include the bigger streamers that already have an audience, that's really important, of course. Do something about the requirements for so there's more people who want to stream Arena that gets this sponsorship and not only concentrate on the big streamers doing other games. So I think they should change the requirements. So like, I think they should change the requirements in some ways. Maybe it's about streaming consistently. I'm not saying this because I do this, but I think it's more reasonable for a small game. It doesn't even have an audience yet. You really want to streamers that stream every day 
to come into your game. In addition to the big streamers, of course. I'm also the dude behind this thread in the beta forums. It's sticky to the top and it's a list of a lot of streamers. So you can see here, we are a lot of people wanting to stream. There's even more. I haven't added the last pages. You kind of want these people on your team. The dudes that are dedicated to streaming. Uh, but you, you kind of need a proof that they are dedicated. I understand that. Try to get these guys in. And we have a lot of people here. And I follow quite a lot of them. And I watch their streams sometimes. And I see like they are, they are at the same level like about me. Or some are above me. But it's kind of hard. Remember that I've streamed for 142 hours in these, in these two weeks. And it's probably a lot more than many other people do. I have some good news, news too. Uh, my YouTube channel. I started this channel at the same time I started streaming. So the watch time here is all, for, all from uh, arena content. You can see that I have a watch time of 2,100 minutes and 686 views on my channel in just two weeks. And that's, we only have 21 subscribers. Uh, and all my videos are highlight videos from Twitch. So they are like 13 minutes, 10 minutes. And you can see that they don't have a lot of views. There's one video, my first one, which is a really quick clickbaity. That has 251 views. Okay, so that helps to have at least one video <laughs> with a lot of views. But I'm putting out videos consistently every day. And some people watch them. And it adds a lot of minutes. And I think this is doable. YouTube, the YouTube requirement is a lot more doable. So ironically, I think you should concentrate on meeting the goals for YouTube. If you, if you are a small streamer. And that's kind of weird, but... Yeah, that's just how. Well, that is our option, so what can you do? I don't have many comments or... I'm a really small channel, but I'm just starting. So I, I will meet these requirements one day. Probably not. It's not... Just realize it requires a lot of work. It requires a lot of work. I'm, I've been working, preparing in the background, made graphics and stuff for my OBS made graphics for YouTube uh, long before the NDA. I'm also working on etherhub.com. I'm one of the creators of that site. So I have audience there. I also I have I have like more reach than most people. I have put my channels and Twitch on the front page on etherhub and even then uh, I do not get a lot of traffic from here. Probably not a lot at all. Uh, and this site has 1,500 users right now. I feel like it's really discouraging for us new streamers to s see these requirements. I don't think it's impossible, but if you, if you just started streaming with the NDA lift, uh, we still have quite a pa path before we reach these goals. And I think it's impossible to reach this goal if you're only streaming arena like right now. You have to like stream other games to get to get the Twitch requirements, so I think you should concentrate on making highlight videos on YouTube to get into the sponsorship program. Hopefully they also said they would make exceptions, so we should probably all just send in our... send our links to our Twitch VODs and YouTube channels and show that you stream consistently. Like if, if we check my channel, if you check my channel and my videos, I have 17 videos, like if they see See this, it should be, it should kind of be enough. So please don't give up. MTG Arena needs all the streamers they can get. They really need the big streamers to show off the game. That doesn't mean our, we small guys are unimportant. And you can't, we can't really expect everything when we are small streamers. It's a long way to, to go big, you know. You can't just get a free pass just because you play a new game. It requires work. So if you are a new streamer or a new YouTuber, please drop your link below in the description and I will follow you and subscribe to you. And please do the same for me. Uh, let's build a network. Let's build a network. And it's not really just about getting a sponsorship. It's about playing the game, enjoying the game, enjoying what you do. I love playing M2G Arena. I will continue to do so every day. I will put uh, out my Twitch highlights every day. And I really, really hope... 
that they can release this sponsorship for Norway. Because currently, I'm not eligible at all, since I'm outside of the US and I'm not in Canada. I'm in Europe, so please wizards, hurry, and I will do my best to meet the requirements when you open this for Norway. So take care guys, see you on the stream. <laughs>